So what does a producer do? Well, let's start from the beginning. The producer comes up with the topic. Um, the producer hones the topic, finds the people that would be good to speak on that topic, right? So you got to do some research. Say you want to get a doctor on to talk about um, colonoscopies. You've got to figure out, you know, who are the who are the doctors, you know, who's on the cutting edge. Um, then you've got to find the right person. You've got to pre-interview them because I always find that that's very successful. Um, and that's a, a little secret tip is don't just go with, um, okay, this is the first available person. It's someone willing to be on my show. I'm going to go with them because they could be a total disaster. Even though they're a professional and a doctor, they might not be good on camera. So you have to kind of vet this out. So that's what a producer does as well is vet the, the talent. And so you have a call, you set up the call and you, you get the information. This is what a producer does. A good reporter, good producer. Yep. You let the person speak. You say, Hey, I'm doing a story on uh, colonoscopies. Um, tell me, you know, what's the latest, greatest uh, treatment? I, I understand that treatment options have um, changed for prepping. And so they might uh, shed light on something going on in the hospital. You have to let them give you the information. You might already have an angle of what you're going for. Maybe it's just colonoscopy month, for example. But there's got to be another hook in there that's going to help the audience uh, give the audience new information. So prepping, pre-interviewing, getting your topic. And then after you've spoken to the uh, interviewee, you know, sort of saying, okay, I'm going to give you, I think like these four to five questions would be a good um, outline for us to go for on the show. You tell the guest, you, you have to let the guest know what to expect. This is going to be a live show. It's going to be a 30 minute interview. It's gonna be playing on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, YouTube. You know, you have to set the stage and the expectations. So that's very important. You also Hang have- Hang on to for a second, let me just jump in there because those expectations also go both ways. I think when I produce, when I do this, I also wanna know what they don't want me to ask them. <laughs> sometimes there are landmines. As a producer, you need to clear all this out. So sometimes you do need to say, by the way, We've got this idea. Is there any no fly zone questions, right? <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. I've never, I've never uh, thought of that. I actually jotted that down because really just go there. Oh no, no, I just go there. I mean, I, normally because well, for me, I have these just you know idea of what I want to ask, but then I'm always in the moment. As as a host, I'm always in the moment. Right. So I'm always listening, and I will react to things that I hear. Now, if there's something that's off the table because it's proprietary, that's totally different. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it's good to know those things. But usually the person, the interviewer, interviewee would say, oh, you know what? We just can't talk about X, you know? And and uh, I have heard that in the past as well. But yeah, that's that's a good one. And another, another thing that um, a producer does is they obtain the headshot and the bio of the person being interviewed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's important. So they're, they're not only identifying what the topic is and then identifying who the interviewee is, they are formulating the questions, having a conversation, listening to how the interviewee actually answers those questions. Does this person drone on for five or 10 minutes if you ask one question? Does it go in all these different directions? You have to guide them. You have to help them as a producer. You have to say, hey, listen, we're only going to have five minutes and I really want to get in like four or five questions. So yeah. you're going to have to be really quick with your answers. You're going to have to really think about what you want to say in about 30 seconds. So you have to give that guest the framework by which to operate successfully. So, so also within that, as a producer, <clears throat> Are you listening with your ears or are you listening with the host ears? How the host comes across, the flair of the personality. Which way are you vetting these people? Are you just vetting them like technically like you're describing? Or are you also seeing if this person is a match for my like? Oh, well, absolutely. I mean, in terms of finding people, mm -hmm. um, it's not hard to find people because typically, you know, once you find, once someone is on the circuit, and yeah. they say something that resonates with you, 
it's like, that's a person I want, you know, but yeah, you, you have to see if the guest will fit the host's personality because, you know, you might have someone that's really open and, and really um, inventive and very creative. And then you might have like someone that's oh. sort of like on the straight and narrow and stiff, and that might not, you know, resonate. That might not flow. Mm-hmm.